Hi guys, in this video we will add an internal link and external link to our blog content. But I will do that in my new post. And let's add a new post. Add new. We will add a new post real quick. Blog title. Blog content. And add a category category and also tags add this is my tags assign to category add new and of course guys the featured image upload the featured image and Set featured image and publish. Let's view this our new post. And as you see, this is my new post. Let's back to the editor and let's add the external link first. Let's add an external link, add a link on this, Google it, and this is the link guys on that keyword. To add an external link in a word of your post, click this and paste the external link and be sure all external link must be open in a new tab check this update and we will add this uh, external link to copy in my google and this is the link of this keyword and click this insert edit link and paste the external link of this keyword and click this assign to new tab update and update and let's reload this Let's find the external link. This is an external link. Now guys, why we should add a new tab in all external link? If the visitors click this, it will open in a new tab. If we did not assign a new tab on all external link, if the visitors click this, it will go to another page which is cause high bounce rate. To avoid the high bounce rate to your blog, all external link must be assigned in a new tab because this link is outside of your blog. Like that, open in a new tab. Okay, and let's add an internal link which the link inside of your blog. For now guys, I can't add a uh, lots of internal link because I have two posts only but someday my posts are growing I can add a internal link in my blog posts for now this is an example we will add a uh, one internal link only add internal link and I don't have a link for a post in this keyword for now let's add a link copy the link address and paste and we don't need to add a new tab because this link is inside to our blog click apply apply and update update and let's view this 
and public and this is internal linking which is the link inside your blog site and let me show you a website guys has a internal link and external link and we back here again and let's find a link of the post and as you see this is an external link link to Facebook and also an external link I thought this is an internal link but this is an external link yeah this is the live example and let's back to the editor you can add a internal link and external link in every unique word or you can do it by 100 word if you have a lots of posts but in this case I have two posts only and let's remove this link guys for now we will add a internal link and external link in the live because this link I add is our local computer if we transfer this to the lab site, this link localhost will remain on this content. And let's remove this link, highlight, and remove the link. Can't remove. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is. And now the internal link is removed, but the external link will remain of the post this is fine because this is the live link okay guys that all for this video and see you next video bye